three ghosts trapped on video. Hello folks all over the world, welcome back to the most anticipated Saturday night ghost video selection, happy new year everyone, may it be better than the previous ones. I remind you to subscribe to the channel if you like these contents, and meanwhile we are going to enjoy our third position in the standings for this week. The Ghost of the Sewing Woman In third place this week we will tell a story that took place in Japan, at a small clothing factory, a working reality very present also in China. The video was posted by Japan's, Fourth Wall, YouTube channel on April 25, 2021 and shows the creepy video taken by the factory security cameras in the middle of the night. In the footage we see a series of shots taken by the smartphone of the fourth wall team while investigating on the video material and interviewing the owner of the factory. The owner claims to have installed these cameras about three years ago because he had suffered thefts at night. A woman, Ms. Tanaka, worked part-time in the factory, but she died about a year ago. She worked for 20 years in this factory and was highly regarded by colleagues. In total absence of wind, a piece of fabric begins to swing by itself and the sewing machine turns on. The owner explains that this is the exact place where Ms. Tanaka worked. But the oddities don't stop there. In the adjacent room another poltergeist phenomenon is filmed by the cameras. The mannequin we see moving was the one used by Mrs. Tanaka. She was so proud to dress this mannequin that one morning during work she said, would be really scared if this mannequin started moving during the night. Workers began to notice oddities such as objects that had fallen or moved from their location the previous evening, such as the scissors that Mrs. Tanaka used to use. Some days several sewing machines were found with totally changed settings without any permission. This is beginning to cause suspicion among the workers. However, the security cameras only record moving objects so it is not possible to know what other strange phenomena occurred during the nights. An interesting but also disturbing case that probably bears the testimony how some energies from other dimensions resonate when some souls do not want to abandon materiality and their daily life. The Specter of the Old Woman The video we're going to see was shot in early June 2018. We are in Paynton, a town in the county of Devon, England. Footage captured by Louise Lenton, a 41-year-old English woman, shows her 5-year-old boy making turns around the parking lot at 5 p.m. on a summer Sunday to practice on his bicycle. During the filming the woman does not notice anything, but returning home and watching the footage we clearly see the sinister figure of what appears to be a lady with her hair gathered in a bun, with white cuffs around her hands, dressed in a Victorian dress. The figure is leaning out of a window of a building in front of the parking lot. That building is the Old Way Mansion, an old uninhabited estate that dates back to 1871. During World War I it saw many horrors as an American relief hospital, with hundreds of wounded from the French and Belgian trenches brought there. Louise even contacted the Torbay Council regarding the mysterious figure, and said, only security guards would be inside the building, on the day the footage was shot. We don't know who or what that presence in the window was. Whether it's the dancer Isadora Duncan, the woman of the millionaire Paris singer who owns the building, horribly dead in 1927 after a silk scarf she wore got caught around the wheel of an car, pulling her out of the open car and smashing her neck. A woman who also carried a terrible past when in a previous tragedy both of her children had drowned in the care of their nanny in 1913 when their runaway car ended up in the Seine in Paris. The Haunted House And in the first place of the ranking, one of the most famous paranormal investigators of Mexico, but also of the whole planet returns, we are talking about Ricky Velasquez who shot a shocking video in live streaming a few days ago, on December 28, 2021. 
returning later in nine months in the most haunted house in Apodaca, a city in Nuevo Leon, Mexico. In 2003 this house hosted a woman and her young children who were haunted by paranormal phenomena such as, a presence, that did not let them sleep at night, toys that moved on their own and the woman had unexplained scratches in the body, let's see it together. Buenas noches a todos, será una transmisión en vivo, claro que sí, saludos desde Calexico, California, buenas noches. Hola, muy buenas noches a todos amigos, bienvenidos a esta noche, el cual yo me la pensé bastante, Uf, varios días, varios meses, ya casi nueve meses o más de haber estado en este lugar. Alone in the dark, Ricky begins to search the house with his flashlight and his equipment in his bag, immediately going up to the first floor and at the first question addressed to the entity that haunts the house, he begins to feel strange noises. A ver, fantasmita medio creído, ¿dónde andas? ¿Qué fue eso? Ricky leaves the room and decides to fix the Kinect, or the Sticky Man skeletal tracker, and the infrared camera, in front of the bedroom doors, but while setting the camera he hears strange noises coming from one of the children's bedrooms just searched a few minutes earlier. And the oddities do not end here because when Ricky returns to his equipment, the infrared camera signals something really bizarre. In total absence of wind, the bedroom door starts to move by itself, while the adjacent bathroom door is practically motionless. Ricky decides to move the Kinect between the rooms and notices that an entity is present in one of the rooms where he claims to feel cold and a horrible sensation. A few minutes later Ricky hears strange noises again coming from the closet in one of the bedrooms. ¿Te molesta que esté aquí? ¿Te molesta que esté en tu casa? Contesta. ¿Cómo te llamas? Ricky fulfills a request from a viewer to sit facing the camera and prove he is a poltergeist. ¿Quieres que me vaya de tu casa? Córreme de tu casa. Sácame de tu casa. A few minutes later a terrible plea for help is clearly heard from the spirit box radio.
After all the demonstrations that took place in that house in the past, Ricky proved that something negative still haunts that building. And for today it's all friends, thank you for watching, I hope that these contents have been to your liking and I invite you to follow us on our social networks and subscribe to the channel to find out about the new releases. We see you very soon and I wish you the usual good night.